Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a short video on why I, why I resell and how I got started and just keeping it brief. So I am a full-time reseller um, on Poshmark and eBay and I go by the username MC Wear for you. I chose that name actually back in 1999 when I first started selling on eBay. Um, I started selling in 1998 on Amazon. Amazon was new and it was an auction site. It wasn't what it was today. And I started, uh, and it was auctions only. So I started with like my kids' baby clothes. And um, I started doing that because I was a full-time stay-at-home mom and wife. And um, my record with job history is actually not very good because I always get bored very easily. I have ADHD and I get bored all the time. And I grew up with a mother that was um, a thrifter out of necessity. We would go to yard sales, which were called tag sales up back in Connecticut. And I enjoyed like the treasure hunt. Um, so my aunts, everybody in my family were thrifters. So it just kind of started off as a way to resell my children's clothes on Amazon. And that was back in 1998. And then uh, someone told me about eBay. So in 1999, I opened my account and I would have um, just Walmart clothes or anything from yard sales. I wasn't going to thrift stores at the time. I was basically just things around the house and things that my family outgrew. I would put it up on eBay. And it, again, it was, um, it was actually just an auction site at the time. There was no buy it now. Um, and it wasn't what it was today. It was actually really, it was easy. It was kind of easier, but it was also more expensive. Each listing was like 35 cents and that really added up. I basically only had about a hundred things that I would sell. And when I saw that I started doing really good, um, and back then there was no cell phone, so I was using a camera, a little Kodak 110, and I would take it to the drugstore each week and pay to have the pictures deliver or um, the pictures developed and bring them home. I would have one of those old-fashioned scanners. I would scan the pictures. I would draft items. For descriptions, you had to use HT or HLTTP or something like that. Um, it was a lot, it was actually a lot of work. And the average thing that sold was like 10 to $15. Now my average sale is uh, $40. So that's really good. So anyways, um, that was in 1999. And let's see, I'm trying to remember now. Okay. So then I'll, then I started having, um, I had two children at the time and I proceeded actually to have three more with my husband. And, um, so I did that for maybe four to five years and then I quit and I quit for like a decade to be like full-time mommy mode and I didn't want to be having any distractions. So I picked up again, um, let's see, I picked up again back in 2005 when my family moved from, um, actually it was Connecticut, Massachusetts, and now we're in North Carolina. So I did it lightly and that was just eBay I did. And um, Amazon I think was pretty much already booming and I wasn't on Amazon, they didn't have an auction thing anymore. It switched to what it is today. And I did it for a couple years and then I found it to be too much to do in the house. Um, and mom, wife, you know, the whole shebang. It was too much for me. And so I quit again. And then in 2016, um, someone told me about Poshmark, which actually that somebody was my daughter, who is also a full-time reseller. And I started up again on Poshmark, and currently I do have 7,400 listings on Poshmark and 904 on eBay. So I've grown tremendously. My kids are grown. Most of them are out of the house. And I have one of the children's old bedrooms as my workroom. And it's just a small, maybe 10 by 12 room. And this does, this does home um, nearly 10,000 listings. So organization is a must. If you could see in the background, my jewelry bins. I don't sell jewelry on eBay so much as I do Poshmark. And I do have several thousand pieces of jewelry. Um, estate sales, buying in bulk sometimes on eBay, and then reselling um, on Poshmark. Um, and it's primarily vintage 80s, 90s jewelry. And that's a Poshmark thing. 
So now I do resell full time. I absolutely love it. I can't see myself stopping anytime soon because even when my family goes on vacation, I actually miss miss the hunt, miss the whole process of, you know, finding things, wrapping things. And um, I just love thrifting. So I would probably thrift regardless of our financial stands. I would still be thrifting because I enjoy it. And so thrifting and reselling for a profit, I see as just like, um, you know, Walmart does. Walmart buys cheap from China and then sells for a profit or um, automobiles, you know, what does it cost? Maybe three to five grand to make an automobile and then they'll inflate it and everything. So uh, I do have comments of people thinking, oh, you're robbing from the poor by going to a thrift store. Not true. I've actually talked to mainly all the managers at these thrift stores and their primary people that shop aren't the poor. It's actually us resellers now. There's millions of resellers getting on this band rat wagon and they are all thrifting. And people that are naysayers and that don't like it. Um, I had a lady comment on one of my videos recently who I purchased some Ugg boots and she said, I, you know, it was sad that I brought some Ugg boots at the thrift store because a teen would have liked them if she couldn't afford them. And that teen should be thrifting or that mother of that teen should be thrifting because when times were tough, that's how I kept my kids in nice quality clothes and name brand. Not that it matters to the kid, but if it matters to you and it did matter to me at the time, that's what you do. You do what you, you do what you need to do. But I don't like those comments. So I do just ignore them because they're simply not true. You are not robbing from the poor. In fact, these thrift stores are depending more and more on resellers. And a lot of times they're sponsoring resellers. Um, so the, the thrift stores are still getting their money and they're using that money to help the poor. So anyways, I'm not going to get into a big spiel, but that is how I feel about that. Um, that's the reason why I thrift. That's the reason this job is so fabulous for me because there is no job in the world that I could be doing right now that wouldn't bore me to tears except, except for thrifting because every day is a different day. You are never finding the same things. You have a multitude of different thrift stores to shop at. Uh, you're talking to so many different people online. It's very sociable. And every day looks different. And I like that. And uh, any other job that I would have would be just the same old, same old. And I don't do well on a routine at all. I don't like a routine. I don't like to know from day to day how things are going to be. I like every day to be different and live by the moment, that type of thing. So this job isn't for everybody. However, that said, everybody can do it because uh, one of the questions I get asked is, how do you know what to buy? And that's from watching other YouTubers of what's popular and what's not, trial and error, and staying ahead of fashion trends, um, anything that's trending. So ba basically looking almost every day, watching videos or watching art or reading articles about what is trending, what's stylish, and then just purchasing and hunting for those type of things to sell. So um, I still get things that are bad buy. Um, there's certain brands that used to sell that don't sell now because it's always evolving and it's always changing. And things that were big hot items um, a year ago won't move now. You couldn't even give it away for free. And so if you wanna be a successful reseller, you have to stay on top of what is trendy and what is people are looking for. And that's what you sell and that's what you look for. So I hope that answers a few of the questions. Um, let me know if you have any others and that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.